check, 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 check. What's up guys? I'm smiling today and I'm smiling because despite all the craziness going on, you guys gotta remember, man, for every bad, there is a worse. And even though it's bad, it could always get worse. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's your boy, Alan Wade, back again with another video for you guys. This time we're gonna be doing the Roblox as I promised you guys. So let's get into this design. If it's your first time here, please subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. And follow me on Instagram at Adub Productions, guys. I'm so excited because we get more time to spend with each other. And I'm always talking about how work gets in the way. Well, guess what? <laughs> let's get into it, guys. Y'all already know we're gonna be SE6 in it back to back to back to back. Turn it on over here. And let's see what comes up on the screen. Ooh, yeah. All right, let's look for our design. But first, let me take this color out right here. I got something in here already. Let me take it out. That's from the last design that I did for a client. Touch the screen, touch the screen, touch the screen. Press OK, press OK, press OK. Recall, cancel. And let us navigate to our, oh, guess what? I don't even have my memory card inserted yet. So handy dandy memory card, put it in right here. If I could, there you go. Now that it's in, go ahead and press the button. Boom, get you guys a nice little close up. Mm. Guys, if you haven't purchased your SE600, like I always say, use my link down in the description below to purchase your machine today. Don't forget to visit the merch store at allenaway.com to buy yourself some channel merch, help support the channel. Guys, don't worry about everything that's going on. It could be worse. We could be in another country that's going through far worse. And this is lightweight. Disease is like lightweight in some countries. This is nothing. How you guys like this design though? It says it's gonna take 15 minutes to stitch this out. It's the first time I'm stitching this out. So we're gonna see how this goes. And then we are going to make some adjustments if we have to. But as of right now, let's pick out some colors, shall we? So guys, the good part about this is that you can make your Roblox design any color you want, but I'm gonna make this a light blue right here, this light blue color right here. And we're going to make the arms and the body. Hmm. I kind of like this zero two seven. This is a zero two seven fresh green. I kind of like this fresh green right here. Roblox man. What do you think about these two colors, guys? Hmm. You guys probably wouldn't pick this, so. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, how about this harvest green and 208, what's that? 208 is this orange, harvest green and orange. We're, we'll go with harvest green and orange. Let's sit these off to the side right here. These are two colors we're gonna use. Put this back here, use our spool saver to keep it all together. Mm. And guys, how, what do you think about this? Look at this thing I just got from Amazon. It is a memory card holder. Pretty dope, right? Pretty dope. I'll leave the product link if you guys want this. I'm just randomly sitting there. It had nothing to do with the video, but if you guys want this, I'll leave the product link down below. You can hold one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six is 12. 12 memory cards in here, and I put SD cards below the memory cards. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, pretty cool. And look, boom, hard case. All right, let's get into it. All right, let us take our thread up in there. We are threading this bad boy up. Guys, look at that, boom. Thread it up like a mug. Wait, let me get this in here because it's a little looped. We don't want that loop to exist, so we gotta unexist it. There we go. Fix that real fast. I wanna give a special shout out, a special YouTube shout out to subscriber and content creator, Shabo Nino. Shabo Nino shouts out to you. He was requesting 
Go go check out his channel, by the way, guys. A young YouTuber who's making a lot of stuff. Let's start this embroidery design, shall we? Who's making a lot of content online. And he was like, hey, I want you to do the Roblox. And I'm like, okay, Roblox coming right up. So yeah, it was his idea for me to do the Roblox. And I had a few other people suggest it to me too, but he was the main one that requested this months ago. So uh, I'm finally getting around to it and I'm glad I can get around to it. Made a little Roblox file. These files are hard to come by. So um, yeah, so I just, uh, you know, found one that I thought that I could do good and I did it. So um, if this comes out good, I'll put it on the site. If not, then I'll adjust it, then I'll put it on the site. But because of everything that's going on, I know some people aren't working at all. Um, this was originally gonna be a $2 uh, design, but I'm just gonna make it a $1 design. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. But everything that I make from now on, for the next couple months while we're all going through this, uh, I guess it's a recession. Everything on the site is gonna be a dollar. So, yeah. Um, as much as I wanna help myself, I wanna help you guys also. I wanna keep you guys entertained. I wanna keep you guys included with everything that's going on and what I'm doing and stuff like that. So, I can't like, even though $2 isn't expensive, but you know, everybody has different situations and other priorities. And um, I'm just gonna make it $1 nice and inexpensive so everybody can still feel included and I can still, um, you know, still get some type of support, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm trying to, my goal ultimately is to build up a large, large archive of, di of these different designs to give people different stuff to choose from so that eventually I can get purchases every day consistently. So that's what I'm working towards, guys. And um, it's gonna be a long road, but guess what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it and I'm sticking to it. All right, so you see the SE600 stitching out the design and we have just run out of bobbin thread. Look at that, look at that. It says we are out of bobbin thread. So what do we do when we're out of bobbin thread? We acknowledge it. Actually acknowledging it is the last step, but we hit this little scissors button right here to cut the thread, right? And then we remove, we raise our foot, we remove this, then we open up the door. Look at this shot right here. This is a close up shot that you guys don't normally see. We grab another bobbin that's uh, wound, if I can find one over here, which I have plenty of, but okay, they're on the other side. Look, I'm over here looking at this thing. They're on the other side right here. So I gotta flip this around because all of them are over here. I got tons of them right here. Look at these, tons of wound bobbins, tons of them. All right, so then we come back over here and put the bobbin in. Our bobbin stop, links in the description below. Put this in here, boom. Bring it around, end around, clip and replace the door. Grab our design again, put it back inside like so. Bring down the foot and it should continue off where it left off. See a little bit of puckering right there? That is partially because of the pull. So we release the tension on that. Uh, I can add some pull comp on there and then we just press this button and it starts over and it sucks in the remainder of the thread and it's like, it never even happened. How awesome is that, guys? SE600, purchase yours today using my Amazon link down in the description below. You can make your um, little Roblox guy any color you want. Just because it says it's a specific color like it did on mine, doesn't mean you have to make it that color. Like I did, I switched up the threads and you can switch up your thread color too. Just visit allenaway.com and purchase your .pes file today to go with your SE600 so you can stitch along with me. You can put this on book bags, you can put this on clothes, you can put this on anything you want. Just know that the different materials, depending on what, what, what material you're embroidering it on, 
and you have to be careful on how you stabilize it because stabilization is gonna make every difference in how the design stitches out. You got me? So if it's like a thin shirt or like a really thin cotton, I advise you to use like some type of cloth as a stabilizer and use a spray adhesive to keep that thin shirt fabric stabilized. All right, the spray adhesive. Um, I, I'll put the I'll put an Amazon link in the description below. All right, so I'm just gonna let this stitch out, and you let yours stitch out. Once again, this design on AlanAWade.com. The reason why part of the reason why I make these uh, videos right here is that when you purchase your design on AlanAWade.com, you will have a video to stitch along with. How thorough is that? What website are you gonna go to? that you can not only purchase the, the, the PES design, what company are you gonna to go to? So you can not only purchase the PES design, but you can also get a video tutorial of it being done so you can stitch along and do what the person is doing so that you know your file will come out flawlessly. All right, flawlessly. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna let this stitch out and I'll see when it's time to change colors. All right, it's done stitching out this part and I see already a little part that I have to switch up in the design. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim some of this thread right here. As you guys can see, let me grab my handy dandy tweezers. Always keep some tweezers nearby in case you gotta put your tweeze on. And then you grab some of this thread right here. Tweeze just like you tweeze some hairs. Clip, clippity clip. Look at the flick of the clip. And then we're gonna start doing this properly, guys, because I gotta start showing you guys how to do it properly. Just clip that right there, pull from the bottom, and throw all this at. You know what? No, that's the last time we're doing that. Look at all this thread we wasted. I hate to waste thread. That's why we do it the way we do it. Oh, I just can't stand to do that, guys. Yeah, we're just gonna do it my way. We're not gonna do it <laughs> like that anymore, the proper way. That's the proper way to do it, though. You clip from the top, and then pull from the bottom. But just let me be hard headed and do it my way, guys. I'm sorry, okay? Just don't do what I do. Do what I say, not as I do. Is that what they say? Do as I say, not as I do. I don't know what made me pick these colors. I like to pick weird colors, as you guys will learn while watching my videos. I'll pick a bunch of weird colors, but ultimately they go together. You know why they go together? Because I put them together. All right, now we just push the button and begin to embroider the second part. Now let's see how this comes out. I'm interested to see if it comes out good or if I did a horrible job at the spacing of the body. This will determine if I have to do any changes and adjustments to the file and stitch this over. I hope that everything matches up seamlessly and if it does then Magnifique and voila. We will have a perfect file and we will not need to do it again. Let's see where my skills is at. So guys, you see the SE600 doing this thing, stitching out. And um, what I'm checking now for is to see if uh, I'm gonna have to make any necessary adjustments, make any adjustments inside the file and stitch this out again. I'm looking for gaps and I see a little gap right here but I'm not sure if that's gonna be a bad thing for the design. It might actually work for the design. So we will see after the design is done if I need to close that up or not. I think initially, I think that I'm gonna to need to close it up because I don't know, when I, see, when I see seams, I just feel like they should be connected. But let me know what you guys think after I pull this out because it might actually work for the design, but I, I don't know. I always see seams and I'm like, nah, that should be closed up, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, I'm just gonna let the stitch out and um, I'll be right back when it's time to change back to the orange thread, all right? Stitch along, guys, stitch along. All right, back to the orange thread and this is how I take it out, man. This is how I do it. You're not supposed to do it like that. You're supposed to clip at the top and pull out from the bottom, but I just release the tension and pull it out from the top. Um, not supposed to do that. And guys, I just stuck myself with these embroidery shears accidentally, like right here. The tip is very, very sharp, especially if it's open, so don't do what I just did, because 
I'm like bleeding a little bit. All right, so yeah, don't do that. Do not do that. Be very, very careful with all of your scissors and all of sharp, all of your sharp projectiles, projectiles. All right, boom, thread him up. Thread it up, yeah. Light it up, thread it up. All right, boom, got that threaded up right there. And we are ready to embroider another one, guys. Real quick, if you haven't done so already, do me a favor, do me a favor, do me a favor real fast. One favor. Give this video a thumbs up real fast. Give this video a thumbs up, all right? Thumbs up, everybody, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Let me see some thumbs ups. Thumbs up, thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. If you don't know how to subscribe to the channel, if you're hitting subscribe and it's asking you to sign in, then that means you are not signed in to your Gmail account. Sign into your Gmail account whatever your email address is, sign into your Gmail, then come back to YouTube and subscribe to this channel. See, the way it works is Google owns YouTube. So when you're being asked to sign into YouTube, only thing you have to do is enter in your Gmail username and password and you're, you'll be signed into YouTube and that'll actually be your actual YouTube channel if you want to make videos also and post videos. So sign in to your Gmail, come back to YouTube, you're signed in and subscribe to this channel guys because a lot of you guys that are watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. It's like 90 something percent. That's pretty, that's pretty horrible and it helps out a lot if more of you would be subscribed. So please, 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 please. Um, especially while we're going through this right here, COVID-19, do me a favor, sign in, subscribe to the channel, all right? But yeah, right now I think that I'm definitely going to close up some gaps in this design because I'm not liking what I'm seeing so far. I mean, the design itself looks good, it looks clean and everything, but I don't like the gaps that I'm seeing. It's little, very small, minor, small gaps, but I don't like them. So we're going to adjust the file, all of them. This one down here at the bottom, this one by the neck, this little small gap right here and the gap right here. We're gonna adjust all of that, bring it in tighter. And um, actually, it actually works, but I just wanna bring it in tighter and close everything up seamlessly, button it up, button it down. You know what I mean? So it, you know, so it could be cleaner, you know what I mean? And part of that might be because the stabilizer I'm using is kind of loose. If you guys can see, it's kind of loose because I cut my pieces too small. But um, I mean, so far, overall it looks good. It's just gonna stitch up some lines and some seams and stuff and then it should, uh, then it should be done. I'm gonna add the face in there, see what the face looks like and yeah guys. So this part right here is about to finish up, as you guys can see. And we're done right about now. That's right. All right, so it's gonna add some seams in there. Check out the seams, watch what I'm talking about. It's gonna give it some, a 3D effect. All right, but let me stop it real fast because I wanna trim that, that. Let me stop it and I'm gonna trim this right here. I wanna trim that because that could potentially pull and I don't want it to pull. I don't want it to be part of any stitch because sometimes it sucks the thread up and um, becomes part of another part and I don't want that. So mental note to you guys. Sheesh, these tweezers are hard to manipulate. Why aren't they holding very well? The tweezers I had before held really well. Uh, are these the same ones? I'm not sure. I can't, I can't seem to grab anything. They're not grabbing. These tweezers suck. Horrible tweezers. Let me try to grab it on my own off camera. These tweezers suck. Oh yeah, they can't hold anything. Oh, okay, I got it, okay. Obviously we had to trim that. Don't you see some 3D effect going on right there, guys? Yeah. All right, see that? See how it's going down right there? We're gonna cut, we're gonna stop it. Stop it. Trim that right over here. All right, all right, all right. So, 
grab it with tweezers. You gotta get in close with the tweezers. See, it's not, it's not. Oh gosh, it sucks. Gotta get some better tweezers than that. This is not tweezing the way I would like it to tweeze. <laughs> All right. Adding a 3D effect over there. You see the 3D effect on the arm right there. Same color 3D effect. Boom, right along that edge right there. On to the next one. It's gonna go back up top. It should. Yes, yes, yes it is. And I'm just gonna let this, at this point, I'm just gonna let it stitch out. Boom, and then it's gonna drop down to the legs. Then it's gonna put back in the blue and put some 3D effect in here, I think. I think it's gonna go from here to there, to there, or there, and then there and there. Yeah, boxing it all up. I'm liking it so far. Down to the legs. There you go, just like that. Add a boy, add a boy. All right, I'm just gonna let it stitch all the way out. I'm not gonna trim anything right now. All right. Going up the leg, going up between the middle of the legs right now. And then after this, it'll be time to change colors. Just like that. Nice, like the way that looks looking. Like the way that's looking. Like the way that's looking right there. Let's switch it up and keep it going. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it, thank you. We got our blue thread back in, guys. You see the blue thread right here, but before we start stitching again, I wanna trim a lot of this up. I got all types of looseness going on here. All types of loose, looseies. I'm still trying to work with this, this thing right here. Very not grabbable. This thing sucks, I just use my hands. Sheesh, sucks. All right, I think that's, that's good. We can trim the rest later. Get a move on with this design. Let's see what it's doing next. All right, so that's what we're doing. We're going all the way down the side of the body to add some 3D, 3D depth perception up in there. Up in 3D depth perception up in there. All right, now we're gonna go to the upper, the upper left, up in here. Bam, just as I thought. Yes, 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 yes indeedy. All the way across the chest, chesticles. All right. All the way across the Covenica Snap Maximus. Meet up with the other line and go up. And that'll be the end of that. Nice 3D block effect. All right, like that, like that. And now we're gonna add the white. Let's switch to white thread real fast because we gotta do some tefuses for the uh, for the face. I didn't even think I brought out my white thread. Should I make teeth off? Oh yeah, I did. There we go. Switch up, put the white thread up in there. Boom, quiet thread. If it ain't, then it ain't. You already know how that goes. All right, so boom, boom, down, around, in, 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 out, around, and in, over, up, down, pull, in, like so. Just like that, you gotta say all that while you're doing it too, guys. If you don't say that while you're doing it, then you're gonna jack up your design, trust me. Just say it. <laughs> Just kidding, you don't have to say it. All right, so we started back, and this is the white mouth part. Just gonna put some teeth, teethuses in there. Mm. Real nice and simple. Now it's asking for the black, and the black is the last part. The black is the last part. We're doing the face, the face now. We just wanna have a little bit of a little bit of depth up in there. Up in there. And the black is what I didn't take out. See, look at that. I did every other part but the black. So let me flip around here. Get our black out, our black thread out. Boom. Right here. Thread you call it in. Thread call it is a word, yes. It is a word. Thread you call it is a word. I don't care what none of you guys say. We're gonna thread you call it in. All right, boom. Boom, 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 Bet you can't do it like that. What do you guys think? Is it gonna mess up the face or is it gonna make it good? Is it gonna be a good face or is it gonna be a bad face? I don't know, I can't call it. Guess what though? I'm about to find out. 
About to find out, ain't we? About to find out. All right. It's supposed to look like a smile. It's supposed to be an eyeball right there. I don't know if that's much of an eyeball, but uh, might have to do some adjustments on the face. I'm not sure. About to find out, though. All right, let's pull them out, see what, she, see what we got. Looks pretty good, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna do some trims, do some cuts. For the first time, looks pretty good. Do some trims from eye to eye. And trim this up, try not to cut any of the access thread. If anybody can tell me, is there a way that the machine will not make you cut these threads, then that'd be awesome. Look at this, guys. I think it looks great. I think, I think, you know what I think? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's what I think. I think it needs a little bit more density in the eyes, of course and close up these gaps. I mean, the gaps aren't really necessary to close up, to be honest with you, but I'm just gonna close it up so the design will be perfect for you guys. Close this up right here, close that up right there, close this up right, close this, close that, close that, and close that, and then we'll be perfect. I'm gonna close it up real fast, stitch out another one, show you guys that I got it, and that's it for this design. I might switch up some, um, eh, I think the stitch out was pretty good. The, the, uh, the order, the stitching order was pretty good. It made sense. Um, yeah, see what I'm gonna adjust actually. So, kinda didn't make sense. We switched threads too much, so I'm gonna do some adjustments. And we'll be right back with the new one, guys. But, alanaway.com, $1 right now. Dub Productions. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, so it's examination time, guys. Let's examine the first one that we did. This is the first one that we did. Actually not too bad, not too shabby, but we had to close up some gaps over here. So this is the second one that we did. A lot better, still had to close up a gap by the arm and underneath the neck, got that taken care of. And if you wanna purchase this file, alanawade.com one dollar alanawade.com for your one dollar roblox design file happy smiles one dollar roblox anti covine defender.pes file that's uh wait roblox anti covine 9 defender file there you go that's it. And purchase your SE600 from me using my Amazon link today, guys. All right, guys, it's your boy once again. Real proud and happy of what we did today. Check out the Roblox design, tweaked and peaked. If you wanna purchase yours and stitch along, alanaway.com, buy yourself some channel merch. While you're at it to help support the channel, we got a little bit of time on our hands, so we're gonna be getting busy. So make sure you check the site frequently because there will be new and fun to embroider designs coming up day to day. I'm not gonna make you any promises, but day to day content coming up. So real fun activity to do while you guys are in the house with the family. Do it with your boyfriend, do it with your husband, do it with your kids. Um, embroidery. SC600, use my link down in the description below to purchase yours. Amazon will have it there fast, and this is gonna last for a long time, so you guys might as well get on board and have some fun with this machine. On alanaway.com, I have a memory stick that you guys can buy with over 30 PES designs that you guys can stitch out, decorate garments on, so um, it's your boy. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace! Turn up that, crank it up. While I listen to the rest, when you're rocking with the best, baby.